No family too poor, no house too filthy, no town too remote. This was the motto of a selfless radical band of lay preachers and teachers as they took to horseback carrying the gospel to every home. Challenged by heroes of the faith such as Whitfield and Wesley, this breed of wild-eyed evangelists known as the Circuit Riders burst across Britain. One rider, Francis Asbury, volunteered to go into the New World in 1771 and by the time Asbury died 45 years later, a handful of Methodists had grown to 210,000 and a few dozen lay preachers to over 4,000. These men were surrendered, sacrificial, radical, half of them dying before the age of 33. They were driven by a burning for lost souls and a sense that their simple obedience would alter the course of history. 200 years had passed and the circuit rider's passion and commitment is surfacing again. A generation filled with fire and utterly consecrated is rising to fulfill the Great Commission. Hundreds of thousands are praying, fasting and contending for revival. This massive movement of intimacy and abandonment is becoming a raging torrent, preparing the way for the Lord and for an immense harvest, casting off the bounds of comfortable Christianity. Many are embracing a missional life in their favour to reach the hardest and darkest corners of the earth. No nation is safe from this breed of young champions. Integrity marks them. Zeal consumes them. Obedience is their pleasure. God is their highest pursuit. The Lamb is worthy to receive the reward of his suffering.